Hi guys, we know a lot of you use DJI M350 and M300 drones. And in this video, we just want to tell you a bit about how you can connect these drones to GCS to be able to use them for professional missions. The methods we'll be describing in this video are applicable not only to the M300 and M350 drones, but also to drones such as the DJI M30, as well as the Mavic 3 Enterprise drone. If you're not yet familiar with UGCS, it's professional flight planning software for drones that allows you to plan flights on the desktop, it installs locally, and you can also use it offline and plan flights with very accurate terrain following in full 3D. It's also available for free, and you can download it from our site, link down in the description below. In general, there are three different methods how you can use your DJI M350 drone with UGCS. Number one is the cloud connection from UGCS to DJI Pilot 2. This method allows you to synchronize your routes automatically as well as see the drone's telemetry inside of UGCS. Number two is route export from UGCS into DJI Pilot 2. And number three is our own UGCS companion app. This app installs directly on the DJI's remote controller, allowing you to upload flights and start your route directly from UGCS. And now I'll show you in detail how you can use each of them. Now, the first method I'll be showing you is the cloud connection between UGCS and DJI Pilot 2. So you can see here in front of me, I have the remote controller of the DJI M350 running the DJI Pilot 2 app, and I also have my laptop running UGCS. So to get started here in UGCS, I can click on Add Vehicle, and then I can choose Connect from DJI Pilot 2. So now both devices, they are connected to the same mobile network. That's really important. And so now once you open up this window in GCS, you will see this URL and you simply need to put this URL inside of DJI Pilot 2. So to do that here in DJI Pilot 2, you can go into cloud services and then select open platforms. And now here uh, you have this section with the URL. You can type in here and then just make sure you input the URL exactly how it is shown in GCS. And once you're done with that, just click on connect and uh, it will connect to GCS. It will show the text saying GCS connected, and that's essentially it. So now you can go back to the main screen here, and we can go into the flight route tab. Now you can see up here, you have two sections. You have the library, so these are the routes that are stored locally on the controller, and you have the cloud tab. So if you select the cloud tab, now actually you can see, so these are already the same routes that I have inside of UGCS. So if we look into GCS, now you can see I have actually four different routes. I have uh, three routes for the DJI M350 and one route for the Mavic 3 Enterprise. And all of them you can now see here inside of DJI Pilot 2. And so now you can select any of the routes that you want. For example, I will now select this route 2 that you can also see on uh, the screen in GCS. And now you can see this same route already inside of DJI Pilot 2. So if you are already in the field, you can start this route directly from the cloud tab, or alternatively, if you don't want to use the computer in the field and you just want to rely on your DJI's remote controller, what you can do is you can simply select the routes that you know you will need to fly, and then you can click to uh, download them locally in the local storage. And now you can see that they have been already loaded in the local library of DJI Pilot 2, where you can then, again, uh, open them up, and then once you can see this route here, that's when you can already upload it to the drone and get started flying it. And now the next method I'll be showing is exporting the route from UGCS and putting it onto the DJI's remote controller. You can in general do this two ways. You can either use a cable or you can also use an SD card to transfer the route between both devices. In my case, I will simply be using a USB-C to USB-C cable. So we can just plug one end of the USB-C cable into the computer. And then on the DJI's remote controller, on this one, the port is at the top. On some other controllers, it's uh, on the bottom. I just take the other end of the cable and plug it in here. So now when I have the DJI remote controller connected to my computer, you can see I have on the screen currently opened up side by side. Uh, on the left side, you can see that's the DJI's remote controller. I can just go to the folder where I want to save my routes. And then here I can have another folder in my computer where I would have all of the routes that I export from UGCS. And now uh, inside of UGCS, we can then just select the route that we want to export. Let's say it is this one. And then you can see we have uh, this export button down below here. 
So let's just click on that. And then as the export format, let's select the DJI Pilot 2. And then simply click on next and then choose where you want to save it exactly. And then just when you're exporting the route, select the folder where you want to save it. And for me, this will be this folder of UGCS routes. And then just click on save. So now you can see I have this route saved in my local folder on the computer. And then I can just select it, drag it onto the uh, Android device, and that's it. If you are on Windows device, then it's even easier. Then you can save routes directly from UGCS onto the uh, Android device, meaning the DJI's remote controller. And then next step is once you have this route inside of the remote controller, then uh, on it, you can simply go into the flight route library. You can then click on the, you can then tap on the plus button here at the top and select import route. Then just go to the folder where you have the route saved, select it, tap on confirm, and you will now see this route in here. So now we can just select it and you can see again, the route opens up and we can already launch the drone on this mission this way. And now I'll be showing you the third method, which is using our GCS companion app to connect your drone directly to GCS. So to get the companion app, you can download it from our website. So you can just go to gcs.com or sphengineering.com uh, and go to the download section that's here and select UGCS. Then in this page, scroll down until you see UGCS companion. If you're using the M350, M30 or Mavic 3 Enterprise drones, this is what you need to download. But if you're using the M300, then we have a separate version for that. And now you can just click on direct download and download the application's APK file. And then in the similar way, how I was showing in the previous section, just move the APK file onto the remote controller, install it, and then uh, you'll be able to get started. And now I'll show you in more detail. So how you can use it. And so now behind me, you can see we have the DJI M350 drone. The drone is already turned on. And in front of me, I have the remote controller. So on the remote controller screen, I have the GCS companion app, which I will now open. And again, here, remember that uh, both devices have to be on the same network for this to work. You can use a hotspot from your mobile phone. You can use a Wi-Fi router, whatever works in your case. So now you can see I have both of them already connected and inside the UGCS screen, I can see the DJI M350. I have currently enabled the simulator mode, which allows me to test uh, the uh, mission fully inside the UGCS and which also allows me to show you the full workflow of how you can launch a drone on this mission. So now you can see I have uh, this route over here that I have planned inside of UGCS. And then there's two ways of how I can launch the drone. Uh, one way is I can simply click here on upload a route. And so then this will upload the route to the drone. You can also see the upload route progress inside of the companion app. And then once the route is uploaded, I can either select start to start route from the companion app, or alternatively, I can press on start route inside of UGCS. So now let's press here, start within the companion app. Let's select confirm. And now you can see that the drone, at least the drone in the simulator mode, it's already taking off and it's going to start flying the mission. Okay, so the second way how you can do this is you can actually synchronize the routes from UGCS onto the companion app, meaning that you can have multiple different routes available for offline use so that even when you're in the field, you don't have to open up the computer, you can simply launch one of the pre-saved routes from the remote controller. So to do this in the companion app, let's go here to routes and then you can see while we are connected to GCS server, we can go to this mission and you can see we have these routes here. So then I can tap on the route that I want to use and I can select make available offline. And then this route will be saved for offline use. And I can do this for all routes that I want to save for offline use. And now we can go uh, back here to the local storage and you can see that I now have these routes available. So let me again select the route that I want to fly. In this case, this is route two. So let me select that. Now you can see on the companions screen. So this is the uh, trajectory of the route, but it's not yet uploaded. So now from the companion app, so if previously we did the upload through GCS, so now when you have everything available offline here, we can simply select upload. Now we can scroll through these settings to make sure that everything is okay. You can also here select what do you want the drone to do in the event that it loses the RC connection. For example, we can select it to either land or hover or continue route. In this case, 
we will set it to continue the route. And now we can simply press on the upload button again. So now you can see it's uploading the route to the drone. And once that is done, then same as before, we can simply press on start here, mm -hmm. confirm, and the drone will start the route. And now since it's already connected to GCS, we can also see this in real time, that the drone is now taking off and it will soon start heading to the first waypoint to do the mission. So to summarize, in this video, we showed you three different methods how you can connect your DJI drone to GCS. Number one is through the cloud connection through DJI Pilot 2. Number two is route export from GCS onto the DJI Pilot 2. And number three is using our own GCS companion app to connect the drone directly and control it from commands within GCS. These methods were shown for the DJI M350, but are also applicable for other DJI Enterprise drones, such as the M300, M30, Mavic 3 Enterprise, and a few others. In case you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Let us know what you think, and maybe there's something more that you would like to see us cover in future videos. Also, if you're not there yet, please make sure to visit our Facebook group, OPGCS Drone Pilots, to stay up to date with the community and learn from other users of our software. And that's it for this video. We'd appreciate if you would like and subscribe and see you in the next one.